Hello and welcome to another Meet the Characters video for Sperry, the next Roll Together campaign. We will be streaming the show in from January through March in our Monday slot, which is 6 to 9 p.m. UK time at twitch.tv slash dnd and twitch.tv slash Roll Together RPG. Uh, I'm George Lockett. I will be DMing the campaign and I'm here with Niall Ishak. Uh, Niall, do you want to introduce yourself however, however you want to introduce yourself? Uh, uh, just uh, general man of the world, uh, uh, fun-loving actor, that uh, there's just struggling on during these these times but but loving it still still managing to play some dnd which is great and and now now i get to play with a whole host of people so what's what's right. more to love the um, solid and heartfelt intro and you've been playing in the the current slash last campaign uh, as well uh, yeah so really looking forward the to forsaken. how the, the campaign plans out uh, so we're going to be building your character, who we'll talk about in just a second, uh, in the Hero Forge tool. We're going to be building a miniature that will appear in the campaign. Uh, so do you want to sort of give your character's name, their pronouns, like the, like the sort of the basic, like the sort of uh, their character race, their class, as much as you want to. You can, you can you feel free to be mysterious if you prefer, but you can, you can lay out as much as you want. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be however much mystery you infer is going to come out in the in the character model in some way. But yeah, I'll leave that to you. So, um, I'm going to be playing a um, female human ranger uh, subquest, which will be a horizon walker called Barda mm. Tana. Um, there, the idea was kind of for a folk hero who's closed a portal to uh, an, a, another dimension, and then that's become sort of their new hobby in life is closing dimensions whilst trying to raise a family. So that's that's kind of that's kind of the idea, and it's, I'm really looking forward to playing as a ranger again. Cause there's there's an first... alternate universe for the campaign where that's like a sitcom setup. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Meet the Tarners or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. There we go. We could we could pitch this. Um, cool. So we'll start off. So the, the, you've done this before. You know what's up. There's there's sort of the basic kind of body plan, body type that goes with the character. There is handily uh, a couple for human. You've, you'll have seen the other options. I can show you some of the others because these kind of generally they just set. I don't think they set anything unique. Um, they just sort of give you a, a good sort of pre pre baked version to to build off. Um, so if there are other characteristics you want to look at, we can do that. But I'm guessing you want to go in with with human. Yeah, she, she's quite. If, if there's like a, a tall female, because I, I I think that she was, she was part of the army, and that's probably where she's met her partner, and so she's Got athletically it. built. She's not a, she's not a pushover. Cool. Well, we can we can build all that out. So we'll start uh, feminine body type. Yeah. There you go. So we go fem, feminine masculine. Uh, we'll go with that, which gives us a starting point, and we'll get to. So we'll start off going through the head, facial features in a very literal sense, and then we'll go from there and sort of build out the body and the, those proportions and sort of that uh, big, bigger build you mentioned for that. So it starts us off with the heroic features, but there are a bunch of options here. So mostly probably the ones in this box, which is everything from bold to delicate. Um, there's lots of other fancy options like rodent faces, dra dragon faces, <laughs> eagle, oh, raven, raven head. Oh, that's new. Uh, new to me anyway. Uh, but so I mean, what? So what's the sort of? How do you? What does? What are our features like? Is she sort of sharp and angular? Is it a soft, softer face? What's what's the sort of? Style yeah, like very, very sort of strong jawed, like, like, like almost like a boxer's frame, it, like a definitely like a boxer jaw. Um, yeah. Bold sounded good. Let's have a look at some bold stuff. Yeah, I'll show you a few. So this is this is bold. Yeah, I think it's bold. There we go. It took a second to pop in there. Uh, nice. It's bold. They've got the soft the slider turned up, so I can play with this to change the sort of the that's, that shows the round sort of the rounding of the chin and the cheeks and the nose. So that sort of that gives a square jaw, I think, versus the sort of sharper or soft softer lines with some sharper features. So that's bold. There's also heavy features, which might be a little bit too hard, it's a bit broad, isn't it? Um, you've got a good chin there. Elegant is actually doesn't fit your description. No. You've got sharp features, sharp features, which goes from that all the way through to this sort of in there. So maybe something in the middle there, perhaps. Sharp features. Uh, what else? What else we got? Uh, smooth. Noble features. I think it's got some of the same kind of thing to it. So that's in the middle. Can sort of go softer there, or th again thicker and harder edges. Mm. Gaunt features, no. De decomposing features, probably not. <laughs> uh, gnomish, this is called gnomish features, but there's nothing sort of specifically gnome-like about it. I think it's about the proportions and the lines. So you can get quite a square jaw on that, all the way up to this sort of more pointy, pointed chin. 
I think we're aiming for a halfway between, aren't we? With the halfway, yes, yeah, so middle mid level of softness. I think yeah. would look the best for most. And that's gnomish. I'll go through some against his bowls. Delicate, I don't think will be right. It doesn't, doesn't look quite right to me. Uh, what else have we got? We've got that's back to sharp. I think it's more looking at the sort of the cheekbones and the breadth of the face. Which which of these is sort of seeming closest? Let's have a look at the bold one again. That is bold. Bold. And then what was... I, I make it sound like you, you were saying something bold, but yes, no. <laughs> that is bold. Um yes. and let's see that I actually quite like the gnome one. Let's have a look at the gnome one. Yeah, I thought I was surprised at how, how well that fits. It's got the right kind of like balance of sharp. It's, it's sort of it's it's sharp and and sort of thinner, but not delicate either. Yeah, I quite I quite like that. And the chin's there, and you can see the jaw as well, which is quite yeah, nice. It's quite a defined line, high cheekbones. I mean, yeah, I think I'm sold, I'm sold on gnome. Sold? Great. We were, we were yeah, was secret, secret gnome features. Secret gnome features. Uh, cool. So we've got other options on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, got, um, we've got ears, so I suspect you'll probably want to stick with the base human ears, unless there's some. Well, I mean, she's been, you said she's got some, she's been in the army, she's got some history with, with adventure. So there are these yeah. sort of damaged ears, there are mangled ears, so there's, there's sort of versions of that that show there, if that's what you want to go for. And a lot of these much fancier ears. I'm guessing the gnome ears would fit less well than the gnome face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. No, I think, you know what, I think we're good with the normal ears, yeah, I think. It's that's, fine. That's what I think. It's an easy one, isn't it? Entirely fair. Uh, so we've got hair, which is where you start to see a bit more of the, the sort of character take shape. So right now I think it's just this is a long braid, isn't it? Or a simple simple braid. Uh, what is her hair like? Is it sort of uh, short and tied up? Is it lo let longer and let out? What's what's kind of what's the basic? I, I was uh, I was imagining an undercut with tied up okay. like tied up bun. I don't know if that's sure. an option. Sure. Undercut top knot. Hey, there is actually cut. like that spot on. Perfect. Yeah, cut nailed it in one. Yeah, I can show you other options if you want, but I feel like that's, that's sort of landed that's, squarely that's where exactly, you exactly. Uh, yeah. Described. Yeah, no, I'll just go then. There's nothing, nothing, nothing's gonna fit better than that. Come on, that's uh, yeah. Nah, I think yeah, nailed it. That's what I was really picturing. Sure. That's what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the other options, uh, would, you, would you like a beard, a nice fetching beard? <laughs> uh, I've already got one, so I feel yeah, like well, yeah. I feel like sure. Yeah, I, I, despite my best efforts, I, I'm completely incapable of growing a beard myself. Um, does not work very well. And eyebrows, there's there's a sort of there's a, a range of suitable ones possibly. There's this this is sort of plain eyebrows here. There's some bushier ones. Some ones with the sort of the, the line taken out of the scar. Oh, let's, have, let's have a let's have a zoom in for the scar one. I can take it. That's quite as, nice. Close as I can take it, but I can pan. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean, and my face is just gonna get massive for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, I quite means. like that actually. Yeah, I actually yeah. really really like. That. Again, that's uh, speaking to that kind of history a little bit, and, and sort of a, a history of adventure and and working in the army in a kind of understated way, but in a way that is um, noticeable. For all we cool. know, she gets a dagger every week and just, you know, just edits yeah, just, it out. Just check, yeah, just, just keep it keep it fresh, keep it the same shape she's, and shave she's it. She's cool bit. like that. She's one of those kids <laughs> that, you know... It requires that's upkeep, that's all good looks should. Yeah, yeah, I've always considered um, a little gash in my eyebrow. I have actually got a scar <laughs> in my eyebrow. <laughs> but you don't, you don't shave around it, which is maybe a missed no, opportunity. Maybe, yeah, I should say. Um, so we have three other options. Like I'm guessing some these will be fairly straightforward. So we, we have the standard organic round eyeballs uh, as opposed to the robot eyes or the alien eyes. Oh. Happy with that? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, can, I can show you the uh, <laughs> the options, but I... Uh, <laughs> Stick to the organic ones. Classic it? humanoid eyes is probably the way to go. Uh, teeth, there are a lot of these sort of lean into a particular type of character choice, like the tusks, the sharp teeth. Um, there are these articulated teeth, which, depending on the facial expression you end up on, might be better. But there's sort of this more, um, sort of more clean, flush through teeth style, or this more. Um, sort of... I've always been a fan of the clean, flush through. Cool, clean, flush through. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. And a bit of fun. Horns. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, yeah, I should really, I should stop playing humans. I should start this, playing more fun things. Yeah. I've said this to others. I've done this process with, and it's exactly that. Where I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely resolute now, and I wasn't before that my next character will have horns because sim I, I tend to play a lot of, of humans or other characters. But again, never played a character with a good set of horns. So I think I should make up for lost time by going for some 
Exactly. Large of a swamp dragon horns, but yeah. Even no. even when I played a tea thing, I didn't give them horns. This is like I, this is just missed opportunities. But then yeah, I didn't have this as well. So <laughs> I realised the last character I made, I, I played, was actually did have horns, but little little satyr horns, which I feel like I, I, I want like the classic like big curly demon horns on a massive yeah. chunky teeth, teeth or something. So just yeah. as obnoxious as possible and live. Yeah. And yeah. Crazy. The kind of where you're getting stuff stuck in them and getting you have to sort of to go sideways through doorways that kind of thing. Exactly. Um, horns that make themselves known. So yeah, we'll come to expression when we get to posing the body. Posing the body, posing the, the miniature. Um, so we come on to the body. So we'll, we'll dig in for a second with the measurements and the proportions and all the sort of scaling stuff there. There are some options here for different uh, specific body types. I'm guessing all of these are, uh, they, again, they lean towards specific concepts. So probably we want to stick with a regular old human tor humanoid torso. Yeah, if that's, that's the options. Yeah, there's, there's there's some no. I mean, most of these go in a particular direction, like very, very gaunt figures, lizard folk, robots, that kind of thing. And some of them, some of them work quite well. We've we've, we've sort of done some of the characters. We've, we've sort of used one for something other than its purpose, like the known the known features. But I think nice. you them. And there's some nice options now for prosthetic or alternative uh, arms, which is cool. Robot arms. Um, legs is the cool. same. A lot of them are. Yeah, there is a, there's a few mermaid. Ones. Mermaid. That's, it's always worth a look. I like, I like the little pose there. It's very, uh, it's good to tail, tail strength, core, core tail strength. Uh, come back to that. There we go. Human legs. Now we get to the crunchy bit where we get to play with all the sliders and um, change shape and all the rest. So uh, we'll start at the top and work down. Um, we can always jump back if there are things that look wrong when we, when we fiddle with them. So we'll start <laughs> off with height. We have a nice height chart, you know, so we can compare it to like the baseline for some other the other dwarf and minotaur, which apparently are the, the, the two keystone species for short and tall. Um, but how tall is Barda? I think I think Barda is like a good. She's a good five eleven. Okay, so I think she's she's five, tall. Yeah, so five eleven. The slider puts that here, which is above the human sort of baseline for this that they've chosen for this. Um, yeah. 5'11". It's hard, to, it's hard to tell at this point when, it's, when, we, when we play with the rest of this game, what comes out? We'll see when she's towering more. over everyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, head scaling, yeah, for most human characters, it's usually just sits at zero, but it's usually for some of the other uh, character races or species that you can you can sort of use, unless you have very strong feelings about the size of her head. I mean, that's Yeah, not, she has a not, massive not, head. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not my first thought with most of my characters. Not really, um, you know. Okay, cool. So we weight, which is sort of overall kind of mass. Um, we can do this as an aggregate uh, slider, or we can break it down by arms and upper and lower body. Um, it started off a nice sort of third of the way through. I can show you so sort of this thin, very thin range, all the way through to this thicker range. Um, roughly, where where is Barter at? I think I think where you got it now, and then we'll work through because I feel like I feel like certain things like her arms will be absolutely jacked. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, yeah. There's some stuff we can play with with musculature and stuff, but we can we can see how it looks and, and play with this to make it all proportional. But yeah, I'll keep it roughly where it started, which is about one third up. Hot, pulling yeah. all those bowstrings, you know, it's a lot yeah, well, of yeah, it's, tension. It requires a lot of. I mean, it's, it's, it's slightly lopsided strength, but it is definitely like oh, doing, yeah. doing it at all is it requires strength, and doing it repeatedly requires that real like tense lean. Kind of I can muscle. barely pull a composite bow. It's so hard. Like, I think I tried pulling a composite bow. I, I think it is partially when I was small enough to do, but I'm not. Yeah, but. There's a real like you get you get to a point and you're like oh my gosh why won't it and then you feel <laughs> like and then it just bangs out and you're like if I let go now like so much pain is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should try this. I'm clearly missing an opportunity. Um, posture. She started right in the middle here. Uh, it all ranges through from this sort of slant to this very very upright aligned thing like proper good like up here posture. Yeah, she's a soldier. She's got perfect posture. Perfect posture. You have to up. be trained. Yeah, I feel. I feel like it's one of those kind of sort of ranger monk things as well, where it's very much like perfect sort of body alignment and positioning and awareness, which yes. some of us are using. Really one with like. nature, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now the build slider, which is the, broad, it's the broadness of the sort of shoulders, chest, and back kind of area. So it started quite low on point one, basically. 
That's the okay. minimum, and then it goes all the way up to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it looks weird now, but if we play with some of the others, it might it might come back into it. But then, yeah, I think with a lot of them, until, until you play with the other settings, there's kind of the uncanny threshold uh, until you bring other you things. You got a little bit. Oh, that's actually. I think that's a little yeah. bit to the left. A little bit to the left. So we're now. We're at point five six of them there. And then let's see the shoulder span. See the sort of shoulder span. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, would you yeah, think it looks think... proportional right now? Particularly if you're playing some of the other stuff, we might come back and find that it's not even enough if you want to change it around. Yeah, I feel like that's quite that's quite wide. Yeah. Without looking of... strange, yeah. Um, next one is upper scale, which is kind of the inverse triangle of the upper body. It starts on the minimum. I think this is another kind of stretch Armstrong one if we do it on its own. <laughs> it is funny. It's when well, you see it move, it, is, it just grows yeah, up. No. It's quite unsettling, yeah. I think because all the, they're designed to kind of play together, and you build you build something proportional. When you when you just turn one of them up to maximum, it's this very strange experience. It's lopsided almost. Um, so, do you want a bit of this? Do you want a bit of upper scale up there to sort of get that bulk, or is it more? Is it is it less of that sort of build upwards and more just this sort of tension? I think I think it's yeah, less of a build upwards, more of just like an, a, a defined strength within. Cool. If, if, I think if anything, it'd probably be like maybe maybe wider legs. If anything. Okay. So, yeah, we can we can come to that in a minute. Yeah, because there's some options down there. Uh, so upscale will be where it is. Arm length, similarly for most of the human species, unless you're going for some specific kind of build. The scaling with zero makes sense, but we can. Somebody. <laughs> it's it's, small, it's very funny small, to watch you grow. It's just watching that. Yeah. It's I a shame there's not wider. This, this is where it's so unsettling to see it. Oh gosh, it's like Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, you like you like to have it, but uh, it's yeah. I think like, should I leave it on on zero? I mean, yeah. It's, is there is there a wideness though? That might be a. There will be so we the wideness of what wideness of um, of arms because they've got a length of arms. Is there a wideness of arms? Oh, I see. Like the, the thickness, like musculature. Good thing you asked because there is in the next one exactly is this muscularity slider. Um, so go. it's not specific to arms, so it will be throughout the body, but we can play around with some of the other settings to make it seem more weighted one way if you want. So it oh, starts really? us off at about point one. I'll, show, I'll focus on the arms so you can see. Uh, but it will be, in fact, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like across the whole body first because that makes more sense. So if I slide this up, you can see around, there we go, shoulders, arms, the legs I as well. Think, yeah, the, that was, that's pretty, Okay. a bit bigger? A bit bigger, a bit bigger. That's three quarters up. I can keep going. Yeah, let's see how. Let's see max. Max is there. Where we're ending up to. Doesn't look ridiculous. Fair. That actually yeah. looks. That's perfect because that's yeah. that's just strong shoulders, strong athletic yeah. build. You do have, as requested, there's the the, broad, the, the broadness of the biceps. And other yeah, muscles. yeah, it's perfect. Um. Cool, so we have five more. Uh, so the next one, I, always a weird one to talk about in this way, but it's a bust. Um, bust. Where, where, where actually it started off at 0.75 on the 0 to 1 bust scale. Again, there's a slightly uncanny sort of feeling with this build there. But we can yeah. Take it uh, I think where it was was fine. Where it was, 0.75. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it seemed proportional. Yeah. That's the um, thing. Waist, and this is that. Well, it's the waist. Funny enough, it's the kind of the, the the waist proportional to the bits around it. So it starts off at around point four. That's the very thin. Yeah, no, she needs need to have a strong core for what she's that's doing. Sort of, that's that's maximum. And actually, again, it doesn't look doesn't look wrong to me. No, uh, I feel like that's actually that's actually yeah. That kind of brings it in line and sort of does, so it doesn't taper with the rest of the rest. Yeah, of the at the end of the day, yeah, she's gonna have a strong core doing everything. Absolutely. Uh, belly is just the sort of the fullness of the the, the, the midriff there. Uh, bring it out like that. Bring it in like that. I think where again where it was is fine. Yeah, yeah I thought again I, it's one of the, I, I sort of didn't notice it before I started moving the slider. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a sign that it's sort of proportional unless it's, unless you're being intentful with it. Uh, next two, last two, we have curves, which is started in the middle. So that's sort of the curviness of the hips and in the upper legs there. So I'll show you the range from lowest to highest, and I'll do it from the side, lowest and highest, and that um, was the middle where it was. Fair enough, uh, I think the middle was fine. Yeah, so, again, again, I agree, I, I, I felt like it started, it started in a good place. It's just one of those things that you don't, ask, you don't ask questions, so you're just like... I know, 
yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, no, it works. Uh, speaking of which, the booty slider. Again, not, 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 not another thing I go in with most of my characters going, late, but I, I, sometimes I guess it's, it, that, that answer comes later. Uh, so it started off at point six, and that is just the butt. That is just the butt. You, just, you just see the belt move. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's again it's fine where it is like yeah so point six was the starting point yeah. and that that all seems very proportional uh, where are we there we go um, yeah I think that's a, that's a solid tall strong build fantastic cool happy with all that anything you see and want to go back and tweak or are you, yeah. are you good perfectly happy cool now we get to go through three brief but fun diversions where we look at the the the, the alternate universe character that doesn't exist with wings and oh. a tail and a tortoise shell but I, yeah again humans. things that i should should think about when i'm designing characters more oh they're so cool yeah i'm, I'm literally i'm literally building my next character in hero forge first because oh, that's oh, mecha- i think mechanical angel like elite mechanical. battle wings here yeah, yeah. Next time, maybe. Gun down, yeah, next time, baby. Uh, you've got your tails. Oh, oh, the thing I discovered the other day was um, not only do you have tails, but it was, it was a good tail to do this one. Let's, let's try. I think I think like a, a fox tail is probably the best for this. Not only do you have tails, you also have multiple tails. That, that what? Up, up oh, two oh my tails. <sighs> Which is great. This is so uh, cool. Finally, actually, there's, you know, you know, your spike spines, we've got your tortoise shells, we've got your calf fins, all the mod cons, but probably not. <laughs> probably not today. Stupid humans. Yeah. Being boring. Um, Looks like a turtle person next. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do it, absolutely. Uh, so we have, uh, we have clothing and gear in the next two steps before we start looking at uh, posing and, and colors. Um, so clothing, we can we can look through the sort of pre-baked outfits, but otherwise we can just dive around and pick out things that work. Do so you have like a, a general aesthetic in mind? Like you, she's a ranger, you say she's sort of... Um, well, yeah. where, 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 where are you at this? So it's breastplate armor, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking sort of like half covering with like leather straps that attach to the other side, where she'll right. be able to attach daggers and other things to these leather straps. So it's sort of like just more and more pouches, as nice yeah. as possible. So it's a, a primitive molly system where you have an easy, easy access yeah. of lots of modular stuff that can come on and off. Loads of fanny packs just attached yeah. on straps everywhere next to plate. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. A little half plate. Well, a uh, breastplate, I guess, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. I think we can just, with that, we can just dive in and go for the, um, and go for the, the armor, which I haven't looked at in as much detail yet. Uh, so where are we at? There's somewhere in the middle here. There's there's a so half plate cuirass. I, I can just start. I'll just start showing you things and um, yeah. bounce off things and see what's wrong. So that's a sort of the, the sleeveless half plate, which I guess it qualifies as a breastplate in this regard. Mm. Uh, what have we got? I'll tell you what, is it? Is there anything that sort of like covers only half the body in a way? Almost definitely. Let's let me start at the top and see what we've got. Uh, there's some more sashes. Maybe stuff here. yeah. That's all gone, which would be a bit there. Yeah, no, it's not. We, this, I think there's some stuff with like nice cross straps and stuff. I'm sure. Oh, let's see that. that. Yeah, I think there's some it's there. Kind of suspenders. It's a bit techy, I think, in parts, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Pirates chin. This is this is a more of that. So I think some. It's a druid chest piece, which is not looking. You know, it doesn't have the armor. Well, there's a bit of an armor look to it with the. There's the a play yeah, on the shoulder. Yeah, but it's not quite. It's not quite as. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent faithful recreation of your. Um, no, true, true, sure, true. Sure. Your gear, but something that sort of shows the iconic ethos. But I think if it's if it's sort of armor, sleeveless chest armor, that's more of a tactical. It's more of a different period piece, I think. It's <laughs> very interesting. Dwarven breastplate. It's a bit thicker and bulkier, but it's got sleeves underneath. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. I'm still looking for things sort of like like you say, like a, uh, sort of half across lines and stuff like that. I'm sure there are some things. Uh, maybe uh, it's a scrap for a shawl. What's what's anything? What's, what's, anything with loads of straps again? Anything that has yeah, like. Okay. I'll, I'll go back through looking. Look, look for look for this. Be led by the straps. There's definitely there's some stuff we can do with the gear and things that will attach with more like pouches and things. Uh, maybe there's like a leather armor. Oh. Mechanics coveralls. They've got like that, that sort of. Um, that's it's, kind of what we're looking for, really. Yeah, that's it. You've got, you've got the straps, you've got the cross, cross wear, it's got covers underneath, but you've got um, sort of irregular pieces of it. Yeah. Is there a way to switch the shoulder pauldrons on the arm thing? I don't know. I don't think we can reverse it, but I've not done that before. 
Um, it's maybe something they'll do in the future because some of these are sort of cross left right. It can be a yes. set I mean, pieces almost. Pieces, yeah. No um, there's a harness, but I think that is just a harness as opposed to uh, as opposed to <laughs> yes, that is just a harness. Um, so I think it's maybe the closest because you have the harness, but also some other clothes, yeah. which I feel is practical. Uh, through a chess piece, does this seem does this seem close? Is this kind of what you? Like this is close. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy to have a look at some more as well. Stealth it seems like oh, that's it's cool. Lovely. Yeah. See, yeah, there we go. He calls it stealth leather, but there's no reason we can't color it metal to get the the breastplate exactly. kind of thing. You've got straps and you've got sort of augment, augmentations and ornamentations. I think that's a. Uh, yeah, I think that's a winner. Just quickly checking through some of these because they're no so obvious. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking at the other characters I've done, I haven't dug into the armor yet, so I'm sort of less familiar with these things. That's more. Pl- I think I don't think it'll be as good as what we just had on. No. So yeah, happy with this? Looking. Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do some nice things with the coloring on that. Uh, so let's look at leg wear. So what, what sort of do you want to match this? There's lots of other options from sort of plain trousers to sort of skirts, uh, cut off things, or things that kind of fit the armor and are sort of plated in, in and of themselves. I was, yeah, I was doing sort of like a um, like a guard piece at the bottom and the legs. So sort of like below the waist would be metal and next to the leg. But then just like boots and maybe I was thinking knee pads because you're gonna take yeah. a knee when you're when you're I looking for things. Well. Yeah, you want it's sort of, it's sort of like being a carpenter or something. You want you to be able to drop down to your knees easily without having to constantly wear through your your, your knee pad, your knee whatever, whatever the knee, knee caps. There we go. That's the word. I definitely <laughs> know. Um, so this has got some of that. This has got a bit of the sort of the the waist sort of skirting for the armor. And some pads. Let's try some other ones. That's more more tattered pants. No, hide leggings. So you, it's more sort of um, it's a different kind of style, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we've got and get towards the armory stuff. Uh, segmented leg armor it might be a bit heavier than Ooh, There's what's the one? So if you go up three and left one, that one loin cloth. What's this? All oh, right, no. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was yeah. metal. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, there's sort of um, okay. Let's see what's similar to this. I'm sure there's something a bit like that that has some metal on it. It's more like leg wear. It's like they're actually a kilt. I think I missed that before. <laughs> uh, Egyptian warrior leg wear. It's a bit segmented. Yeah, so maybe go back down to these layered cloth half plate leggings. No, nah, not enough knee stuff is there, I guess. Some of, oh, so... there might be some on the boots. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty. That is, that is plate mail leg armor. So that's got yeah. protection down here. We can color it so we can we can style it so it's leather or it doesn't, it doesn't have to be metal, it's just it's going for the overall aesthetic. Comes down over here, you've got the padding, you've got kind of the, the protection here. Yeah, that's, that's close to what I was thinking. Yeah, that, that's the only other one that's close to that, but I think half the plate mail one is... is um, it's a bit more interesting design, isn't it? Bit more oh, that's, yeah. That is yeah. really nice. You've got straps. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think those are the... I think those are the best ones we've seen. So, which do you, would you prefer any of the, out of? Well, hold on, which one are the Paladins plate leggings? Ah, they're cool. Oh, great. So you've got there's the the plate mail leg armor and the the blabbered leg armor, which is the more. I, I think I quite like the the plate one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with yeah. you on that. That's the best best fit. So we can do some boots, and we can see how it looks with those. So I think boots are mostly at the bottom, but they're kind of spread throughout. We'll start, we'll start in the middle. Uh, so you similarly want, um, you want the sort of leather style boots, tall boots, hiking sort of um, yeah. riding hiking think, boots or armor boots? Yeah, leather, leather boots. Leather boots. So we've got some plainish tall boots that covers your knees. Gets through the knees, yeah. Um, other than heavy armor boots, I think they'll be a bit... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, no, that's more of a, yeah, the feet are clearly armor there, so maybe not. Yeah. Uh, cuff. She calls them futuristic boots. I think you can get away with them not being futuristic boots because we can paint them however we like. They're uh, quite nice, though, aren't they? Futuristic boots. They're a bit more even. They could be leather and sort of, or they could be metal either way. Uh, so, yeah, I think I think the cuff ones are quite good. So let's keep. Them yeah. Is there any more cuffed cuffed boots? Studded leather boots. So they're definitely leather, and they've got the studs on them, and they leave the kneecaps visible. Nice. Uh, Chainmail boots, riding boots. What's underneath that? They've got a bit of a cuff. Oh, there you go, a couple of boots. That's exactly, you're asking for more cuff boots, and I stop, yeah. I stop at the riding boots. That's uh, perfect, I'd say. Okay, so the other ones are, yeah, bar, they call them bars boots, but they're a bit, <laughs> yeah, lines are a bit different. 
Yeah, I think that's good. I quite, yeah, I quite like that. Put your bit of bob through the rest. Cloth wrap boots, heavy plate boots. Yeah, lots of sort of more armoured style boots here. But you know, sinister boots. I didn't know a boot could be sinister. sinister. Let's have a look at the sinister boots. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to see I what's I bet they're spiky. Oh, oh no. Oh, they are a bit spiky, actually. I think they're, they're in two pieces. So they sort of on your on the top, or I guess around your foot and on the sh with shin pads. Yeah. Not layered plates of metal or bone that serve as intimidating, if not especially practical footwear. Uh, shin pads are, you know, always known for their sinister look. Yeah. You can have a cast, you know, I've just seen them. Broken legs. Paladin's plate mail. Okay, okay. I'll, find, I'll go back and find whatever we had, which was cuffed leather, but cuffed leather boots. There we go. Yeah, perfect. This is good. You got that. You got that. I think it's definitely got that. It's got the, the right level of busyness where you clearly have a lot of sort of stuff and attachment points and things, and also the protection of armor and, and le level layers over yeah. there. Um, cool. So the other things we can look at there is headwear, which includes sort of hoods, scarves, hats, other things like that, headbands. Yeah. Neckwear, there are shoulder pads, so shoulder pauldrons, neckletts, this kind of thing, um, gloves, and masks. Yeah, I think let's start with hoods and then let's work our ways down to shoulder pads and hand stuff. <laughs> you can go as far as the Anubis headdress. Uh, <laughs> head of a hawk. Um, so you've got sort of martial arts headbands, gemstones on your, in the, in your forehead, headbands. You is, there like head a, is there like a received hood? Like yeah, a cowl kind of thing? There's a long pointed hood, which is very cowl like. It's quite rendery, I think. Is there a, like a receded one so it's not hooked? Oh, a receded one. Yeah. That one's droopy. That one's wider. That's it's cool. That's a oh, shallow. This is a shallow. I read that as shallow. Cowl. And plain hood, which is got up there. So I think there's not one that sits very far back. Maybe, let me just check something. Maybe on scarves or something. Oh, okay. Well, okay, now some some of the some of the gear you can you can do individual poses for already, which is awesome. Um, like we discovered you can set the angle of a cape the other day, the exact level of billow. Uh, uh, I don't think we can move the headwear, the sort of the level of headwear. Yet, so maybe we're there's... looking for like a scarf-looking thing then, just to give yeah. the, the idea of it. Space, isn't it? Unless that's unless part of the concept yeah. is character who wears a mask. It's supposed to be hat. So let's look. Well, they're good at stealth thing, but they're not. They're, I don't think they're going to be they're going to be hiding their face all the time. Exactly. And again, particularly for this kind of thing, which is representing a sort of iconic yeah. version of... <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, yeah. So like some, some characters, yeah, they do want to... They, they're hiding their face is part of their, their, their thing, but unless it is. Uh, I'm sure there are some... Edge Lord Muck Dark some... <laughs> yeah. uh, there's, a, there's a headscarf, which is not quite received. Uh, there's a bandana, which is more of a sort of... Um, top thing thing we're looking for. I can't remember what we're looking for now. Um, Just like scarf. a general scarf wear, I think, to give the. Oh, okay. Impression. So no, actually, I'm looking in the wrong place. So we can look at. Let me take that off. Um, <laughs> yeah, use the Anubis headwear. So there are some scarves, but I think they. Certain armors, when it's already close around the neck, you, you can't necessarily put them on. Oh, um, that's a shame. Because it gets it, because you've already got the, the definition there. We can see what we can do with gear, because there's some stuff that will go on your head, I think, but I'm not sure what we'll find that matches. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal at the end of the day. Okay, well, we'll come back to it. If we feel if we feel we have if we feel we can't do enough with gear, we can come back here and look for other options. Yeah, um, but there is a, quite exciting things we can do with gear, which might take the pressure off anyway. Um, exactly. Anything like sort of shoulder pads or epaulets? Uh, uh, let's have yeah. a look at yeah. Let's have a look at some shoulder pads. No organic pauld pauldrons, small horned pauldrons, dwarven armor, power armor, sort of ridge shoulder pads, more sort of plain things, more sort of. Making like whatever whatever looks is like sort of um like like melded plate sort of like yeah kind of like would it be those able to... ones there's the paladin ones which kind of fit in with it well these are a bit sort of more uneven I think although they're quite yeah you know, still paladins heavy pauldrons paladins pauldrons uh there's some sort of hide ones that are more fluffy druidic shoulder pad that that would work as a range of things as well where it's got a bit of organic to it that's more of a or warrior princess problems. Well, the yeah. I, the idea for for the shoulder pads and sort of the ar the, the armor that she's wearing is kind of only donned when she's going out on these hunts because right. the idea is that she was trapped in the first plane of existence. She was trapped in was in the Shadowfell, and she made armor out of metal from there. Got so, so thing is, sort of, otherworldly quality to it. Yeah, kind of like a bit. Well, it's, it's made out of shadow, so a bit dirty and a bit. Bit not right, I guess, is yeah. what we're looking for. Well, that's good. We can bring it out in the in the color palette as well. Um, 
So do you like these? These are, these are called the studded leather pads, but again, we can style them as metal or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Is there is there a way to have it on just one shot? Yeah. 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 Which one do you want? Uh, let's go for left. Left. Can I tell my left from my right? Yes, I can. Good. Uh, sorry. So our our left her. Yeah, our left. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I got it right. I was like, but you might mean a different thing. You were, yeah. Guess. You were you were on it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. So you got that that um, thing there. We can look at it, and if it yeah, we can we can we can flip it around if the, if the pose would benefit from it being on the other shoulder, we can do that, but I think that looks great. Perfect. Um, so, we've got, yeah, neck wear we've covered, masks, things, and so anything like gloves? Yeah, um, so, if if it's possible to do different gloves on each hand. I think that it is. Let me just check. Yes, it absolutely is. Excellent. So, so what I'm thinking, gloves. yeah, again, is sort of the left arm a bit more metal, like it's been because that that'd be the arm she'd be using for a bow which would be outstretched so it needs to be the most covered um that's uh oh, that is techno. work gloves there's plain gloves that we can style as metal like whatever we pick we can we can style the material however yeah. we want there's actually literally there's marksman's gloves as well for the hand that's drawing uh yeah that to. the right hand yeah uh I guess it's technically for guns rather than for, for yeah, bows. True. I think I guess some of the same principle applies. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. Fingerless gloves, there you go. Fingerless gloves would work. Yeah. Uh, but for my, there's, there's braces, there are wrist wraps, hand wraps, which don't cover the whole hand. Full up gloves, leather gloves, rubber gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I thought we ran out. I, but I, I no, we were like one third of the way down. I just was scrolling in the wrong place. Uh, yeah. Tactical marks, but there you go. They're, they're They've got sort of studs on them, and they got, leave the, the full three fingers exposed. There's, well, this this hand would be the the protected one. So, is there any like gauntlets oh, almost? Oh, that will look yeah. Nice, it? Uh, power armor gloves. It's a bit, <laughs> Again, yeah, the futuristic, yeah. isn't it? Gauntlets. So, what you see, looking for something sort of fully sort of metal armored up, kind of. Yeah. So that's a sort of that's assault armor. It calls it or tactical armor. There's a bigger, thicker one that's a bit sort of like... Mm, oh, I, re- I actually really like that, yeah. Actually, it matches, the, the sort of curve of this matches the... That's, that actually that integrates quite yeah. nicely with that. There you go. Perfect. Um, and then on the other hand, hand, I yeah. think those those fingerless gloves were looking pretty dapper, weren't they? All the full five-fingered fingerless ones. Yeah. There you go. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's have a look at those bandages again. The hand wraps? Yeah. Uh, yes. Now, where did I see those? Oh, there's arm that's arm wrapping. That's that's loose. There's a definitely there's one I saw further down there. That, oh, what's the best angle? Let me, let me move it so you can see. Is that a good angle? That's yeah, that's really nice. I like that. That's the loose bandages. There were some like more there were some tighter wrappings somewhere that I saw. Uh I think. Unless I'm just making No, it. I remember you picking the uh, you you definitely I thought it was distinct from these ones, but maybe not. Bone wrist scars, bangles, decorative bangles. <laughs> Fingerless gloves, cloth hand wraps. There we go. So there, there we go. Gloves. Yeah, I think that's that's the one. Yeah, that's the ticket. Next to the wrist as well. That gives that support, which is also relevant. Uh, cool. Okay, I'll try and reset the camera a little bit. Zoom it out. There we go. Now she looks the business. Yeah, she looks like she's ready to scrap. Cool. Well, should we start putting some gear, getting giving her some stuff to scrap yeah, with? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Cool. We can start anywhere with these. There's stuff that goes in the hands, on the back, on the sort of hip worn side, and piercings and stuff. Probably best, probably makes sense to start with whatever you think is like the most iconic item you think she'd kind of have, or what, what sort of thing would, would yes. Yeah. yeah. I think I think she's definitely she's definitely an archer. So quiver a quiver and a, and a bowstring would will be needed. Let's do it. Let's find the bows. Wow, there's some fancy bows right away. Uh, I'll just I'll just start clicking through and show you on the model, even if they're not right. Um, oh, that is fancy. That's fancy. There's one made of fire, <laughs> bone, the demonic bow, another another one made of fire, uh, a crystalline one. Uh, there's this sort of elven sort of double folded in style. I don't know what that's actually called. There's a classic hunting bow with the kind of the wraps and the leather along along the. Um, what's the what's the word? What's the? It's not a shaft on a bow. What's the? I can't remember what the sort of the, the functional bit of the bow is called. I think, I don't know, I'd have just called it the bow. Like, yeah. yeah, well, that's probably right, actually. Uh, there's a short bow, this kind of style, and then there's a full on big, chunky I, long bow. I feel like the hand wraps were kind of in theme, weren't they? Oh, yeah, you mean with the. the, the yeah. Style? 
Yeah, they, they fit. And that's that kind of sort of like, that's very rangery as well. It's kind of sort of thing where it feels like it's been crafted themselves or repaired yeah. on the, in the field many times. And it's just kind of literally kind of thrown together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Great. Okay. We can, I can play around with um, poses and hand stuff. We'll come back and fiddle with this as we pose. I guess we've got, we can do it. <laughs> can do one <laughs> Two poses. Yeah. Uh, how strong are your teeth? So it can be in either hand, and then there's this. Um, I mean, it's healthily put in a different pose. We can do something double double handed as a pose as well. But I'll leave it in one hand for now while we do yeah. the rest, and we'll we'll do it with the pose. So quiver worn on the hip or the back. Um, uh, it may back. just be the back, in fact. Yeah. Sorry, it may just be the hip, in fact, because uh, no back items. There we go. Back worn show all. So we should be able to find the quiver here, in fact. Yeah, cool. So we can have it on the hip or the back. I think it's the back, yeah. Yeah, classic. So we have so we have three good options here. So let's go for option number one. Okay. Or option number two, which is more of an embroidered fancy thing. That is fancy. And then option number three, which is more of a it's a slightly plainer but still stylist sort of more stylized in its in its form. Let's see that first one again. Yeah, we can do it. I we, we can apparently. <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah. But I was I was thinking that was that was silly, but no, that would, some some people would do that definitely. So you have cool. one in either direction or two quivers stacked. I think facing towards her other hand would make sense. That's it. Yeah, I'm struggling yeah. to like pause out the mechanics in my head, but that does make sense. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, Cool. Uh, so we've got a quiver there. Anything else? So there is all these options for perfect side things. There's these things like pouches, a drinking or hunting horn type thing. Oh no, it describes it here as a tooting horn, which I think is the correct and proper moniker for it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick toot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, is there a way to get? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> is there a way to get any sort of daggers or anything on on her? Yeah, we can put like things on there. So we've got, where are we? There is a little dagger. It's not that little, it's quite, it's reasonably sized. So you can put this, basically we can, we can put something on either hip. We can put any of these items there. I think so a dagger on one daggers. side. There are larger ones as well. No, so mostly it's just a lot bigger. So that's, that's the dagger, that's sort of the I middle I think that's, that's perfect. Yeah, um, I'm trying to part that. Which, is that the correct hip as well for where she'd be? Yeah, I was gonna say, cause on the, oh, well, do you normally cross draw daggers? I'm not sure. I guess That's you're a ranger, you can draw whichever, whichever damn way well you want, because you can sort of flip and flip and catch and do all these things. Yeah, I think uh, I think it would actually be on the... Let's flip it. Yeah, and then the sword would be on the other side. Yeah. She's, she's, got, really a, she's got a scimitar. I, th I think we can do something like that. Let's see what we've got. We've got, we've got curved blades, we've got scabbards. We can have, it, we can have a back-worn scimitar, I think. Uh, I think even a, a just a scabbard, just to just to give the idea of a sword. Not is got good. a curvature on it. Uh, we can have an empty scabbard. Where are we? Hold on. There. Uh, what else have we got here? Kukri, which is not. It's the same broad shape, but not yeah. very close. Um, any of these sort of approximating what you want. Again, we can look at stuff on the back as well if you prefer. Yeah, I think anything here. with a with a cross guard is fine. Okay, cool. So there so is. maybe that. Yeah, um, maybe less of the hand guard. Oh, I see. There we go. Less fancy. Yeah, I think the cross guard is perfect. Uh, scabbard. There we go. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty heavy heavy duty heavy duty <laughs> ranger. <laughs> Three weapons in view, which is yeah, decided is def definitely the most weapons so far <laughs> I've seen. Which is a good. You're, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Someone's gonna carry them. Um, Someone's gonna need to throw something. <laughs> so what else we potentially you've got? You could do a cloak, but I think you you want to keep your your um. You want to keep your your. Yeah. Uh, uh, that. There's some eyewear. A lot of this is more futuristic, I think, in the time period, unless you're going with an eye patch or something. But no, it's managed on the skate. Mouth coverings, rings, and piercings. If you want to go any of that, down any of those routes. Well, is there is there any tattoos actually? Oh, there is. Now, where I, I'm now trying to remember where it appears, but there is this. Um, I've got to, I've got to remember where it is. Because I I forgot <laughs> there is this decal option which where where is the decal option That's a good question Is um, it in the coloring maybe That is almost definitely where it is, and which is why I can't see it yet. 
There we uh, go. Yeah. So we can we can do this properly when we go and we pose. But you've got these uh, on the legs, the hair, or I guess the hair. So this is, they're not they're not they're not strictly tattoos, but they're different sort of patternings that you can purpose for this. Um, I think definitely on the on her it would be her left arm. Okay. We it? can we can play with what's cut off to see what's what's covered up and what's not when we get to the coloring. Um, yeah. We can, yeah, we can always we can come back and fiddle with some of the gear options to make sure it's exposed. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll poke at these in a second when we figure it out the posing. Perfect. Um, there's there's all these lovely options here, um, which is surprisingly versatile. I've used them, I've used them once before already, and that was that was for a very different use. Um, but yeah, again, so they, they, yeah, they're not specifically tattoos, but they can be styled to be different things. Um, all right. So let's look at some posing. Anyway, we, we remember we can do the bow two handed. So if you want to, depending on the pose. In fact, there's some like nice. There's some there's some specific things here that I haven't seen before because they're specific to bows. That's great. That's cool. <laughs> um, we can also do the face and we can play around with the specifics. If you find a pose that is the right energy, for want of a better word, we yeah, can, let's find a pose. Um, I can just show you these three archery ones first because that seems like a good start. But we can pick anything. You can describe what you want to kind of see. So that's the one we saw really with the two-handed bow pose. The classic uh, the jump shot, which is ready to jumping into the air, leaping into the air, ready to loose an arrow. Then we have the more relaxed bow pose, which I guess is sort of um, oh, that's pretty not, cool, isn't it? That's, that's very like relaxed hero stance, isn't it? And it works really nicely with her posture. Yeah. Um, and then we have proper archery form. I think I, I actually think I'm sold on the on the relaxed bow stance. Cool. Yeah, I think that's really good. It projects a nice, like, it's, it's not too, like, well, it's not too martial. It clearly is quite martial because of all the weapons you're carrying, but it's a it's a sort of nice balance against that where you're showing some personality yeah. for the character around it. Um, so I can show you what we can fiddle with. Like, we can basically change the head position. We can do some of the twists in the torso. We can change the angle of the pauldron, which I didn't know, and we can apparently even twist. I'm going to see what this does because I haven't seen it. Okay, yeah, we can, we can, <laughs> we can make it spin. We can make it spin. I'll put that back where it was for now. Um, so we can do stuff like if you want to play with where she's looking, like where her head's turned to. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like because I can do that with that. So you can, you can get a bit of a twist in there okay. either way. We can. Put oh, let's yeah, let's have a little. So let's oh a little head cock yeah, as well. Trying to, trying to center this back out. Um, that's if we could raise her chin a little bit, that'd be yeah, great. Get it. So I can, I can, you can see the axes, which is quite nice. Oh, uh, nice. so we've got a raised chin, which fits the posture as well. Well, the posture is quite straight, but like, so you can sort of raise. What does this one do? You just, we just compare, compare. It's always yeah, that's, fascinating, that's it's fun, a fascinating yeah. experience trying to move each individual muscle and bone in the human body. Yeah, that's more of a chin raise. Okay, that's that's yeah. the chin without neck. So let me center that back where it was. So, so that's 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 I would say too far, but maybe where, where am I? Level. Up a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's that's a proud that's a proud chin. Yeah, that's it. That's and then awesome. maybe we can turn the head op almost looking opposite to the bow. So we can twist the head, and I believe it is that away. So let's just see if I'll take it off now. Yeah, it's quite a nice open stance. How, how, how far do you want to turn it? That is, that's the maximum, which isn't too far over to be honest. Yeah, I actually quite like that because it's, it's yeah. proud. It looks like she's shouting someone. It, it is simultaneously a relaxed expression that is that is. I, I will describe it as unguarded in an emotional sense, but it's definitely not unguarded in like a sort of literal, <laughs> literal I am on my guard sense. It's ready, but also relaxed. Yeah, and you're happy with the sort of torso, hip. Or yeah, I actually quite quite like it because the arrow is almost lent out lazily. Yeah, it's like clearly yeah. ready for something to happen, but but not like on a on a yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see what happens with the pauldron because I don't know what. What? Okay, so we can do. Weird oh, that's cool. Put it uh, back. Bend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess some of the some of the arm poses and stuff you want to um, square it off differently and things. But I'm just curious. And you can. Oh, okay. So you can. Oh, that's actually that's actually quite nice. Thing. How how tight can we get it into the shot? That's where it was, and then I'll uh, undo. And then, so you like it up a bit, or uh, the, in, into the shot? Like, how tight can we oh, get it? In? In. Let's let's zoom in and find out. So we want to make sure it's like not too far, but that sort of meshes in nicely with the armor. I think you can see here it like sits flush. Yeah, so that's quite nice. You can take it in tighter if you want, but I think there there is where it starts. Yeah. To like, flip in a little I bit. think where where you had it, I think you'd measured yeah, it perfectly. 
Yeah, that's like a little bit. Yeah, a little that makes it a little less sort of like big bulky armor. More yeah, it's less like, anime. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fantastic. Okay. Happy with. Okay, let's just look at face. Actually, that's, that's the other thing you do. So there's, there's some nice presets there. We've got the five the five emotions: smile, copy, snarl, confuse, and arg. Arg. Um, my five emotions. I don't know anyone else. Uh, it's given us a nice like two thirds smile uh, as a starting point. But what sort of what do you want to what do you want to project? What do you want me to show you so you can see what it looks like? Uh, you know what? Let's see the emotions. I, I want to see these emotions again. Okay. I can show, each of these presets is like the maximum of these on its own. So that's like neutral. It's quite that's, that's more intimidating. That's the big big smile. That's maximum cock as it were. <laughs> maximum that's maximum snarl. No, that's cocky. That's cocky. Yeah, that's maximum snarl. Or possibly unpleasant pain. Uh, that is confused, and that is arg. Now, I'm making it sound like a pirate rather than an orc. It's this is clearly an orc emotion, not a pirate emotion. That, that genuinely sound. That looks more like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> it does be honestly. Yeah, I think it ha we have to play with oh, some of the other stuff. Like well, this is this is confused arg, which is. Uh, I get that. I get that. I've not tried dialing all of these to maximum. Okay, so some some of them are mutually exclusive, which is probably that for the best. Gets look very at funny. Yeah, let's get a nice reassuring blank expression. Um, what would you like me to start mixing these, showing you mid 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 rounds? What what do you think, or is it a very stoic neutral expression? Let's give, let's give her a little bit of a smile. She's not she's not about that sad life, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that is. I feel like yeah, just that slight smile is quite. That's one third smile. So that's, that's we reduce the smile by half. Yeah, it's like it's like a, like a wry smile, isn't it? I think that fits nicely with the, that pose as well. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, definitely sense. It's welcoming um, but threatening. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely you have been noticed and you'll be considered, but you, you're not in danger yet. Yeah, um, I think that's super, perfect. Yeah, I think she's looking great. Um, we can do eye positioning, but we can probably do that after we painted it, so we can see where the eyes are looking. Specifically. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, obligatory obligatory brief diversion, just because I have to show you like the motorbike pose and the horse pose. Like, I mean, wild. I can ride on animals. This, this is this may be relevant. Give me the motorbike. <laughs> I'm gonna undo that because oh, that done, chopper. So. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me just quickly wind it back a little bit because I don't want to lose the. Uh... There we go. Cool. Uh, it put us back in the correct pose, but I didn't do the right thing. So that's oh like my proper... gosh, that so that's like into the yeah. badlands right there. Ultimate universe campaign, perfect, perfect fit. Oh. So cool. We're back. We're back. Here we go. Back in so the business, let's look at boys. Color. This is going to like pop so nicely. I think it's fantastic. Um, so we can look at some of the. There's there's all these there's these pre baked options for both like body features, of, uh, skin, hair, eyes, and the clothing, which will be useful for, for fine. Like we don't have to use any of these, but as, we can use them as a base to start off, uh, and then we can tweak individual little things, or we can just say ignore them and, and start from scratch but if nothing else they're useful to show the different things that can be used um, so yeah. I'll just mouse over each of these what kind of like what rough skin colour hair colour base do you want to start with well she's got she's she's quite dark skinned okay. I think so but she's got dark hair as well okay yeah it'll be we can, we can play with the specifics but we're, we're, these are the darker three skins by default which are okay. different parents of human we can play with all of the detail here so no no like yeah, Maybe. just go, just go with one of them, and then we'll we'll right. mess around with it. Right. Uh, we'll do that first, and then we'll look at clothing so we can get there. We can get some of these features right, and then balance them. So let me get me paint. I can do whole new paints, or I can mix and balance. Uh, so what? Where? Which direction do you need to take the skin color in terms of everything? I think, I think more sort of more South South Asian. Okay, so we've got sort of like almost like Indian origins. Like, yeah. We've got there's a lighter shade than that, and there's a darker shade than that. Or we can let's see the a little bit lighter one. Little deep four. Again, if it's I think flat, that's, it's that's the one, one, yeah. yeah I, I can play with the, I can play with the the balance. I can play with the up and I can take it up and down. But if it's uh, I think that's you want so to, far that's the closest. Let me paint that across because I, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Wait, can I do this? There'll be a way. No, I'm, I'm not going to be clever. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it the way I know how to do it. Uh, we'll look at fingernails. How do fingernails work? <laughs> now using the so when I start panning my camera, I'll put that there. Even though that's not quite right yet. 
can't quite see the inside of the hand. Sometimes we might have to repose. In fact, I will briefly repose her because then we can see, we can find everything more easily. I'll put her back in that initial pose. Neutral. <laughs> no, I won't because then we'll, 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 we'll keep some of those details. So let me, st- let me stick with this. Grab the paints. Same one there, little detail there. Let's try and see what I've missed. Just the other hand, I think, isn't it? The other fingers? Oh, are they metal? Yeah, I think it's covered. We can paint it however you want. We can style it. But um, I think I've got everything for that. Maybe the left ear. No, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Need there be something. Um, are you happy? Again, we can we can fiddle with the specifics of this if you want. But if you're happy, that's that's good. No, I think that's perfect. Yeah. Cool. Um, we can do hair or eyes next. I don't mind. Is there a way to tint her lips a little bit so you yeah. can differentiate? Yes. Uh, tint in which direction? I think it'd be sort of looking around. You're looking around more of a hmm. Probably orangey, orangey red colours. So I can move it manually. Oh, where are we? Mm, or I can try and get a better palette. Actually, it might be better. It might be easier. Yeah, I don't know how clearly you can see what I'm doing. Let's grab a let's grab a palette. So that's, that's, it started off as what they call deep five tuned. <laughs> it's just a slight variation on that. So that's what it was. So you think a sort of orangier? I'm trying not to paint the teeth. That's not good. <laughs> Can you still? Maybe this is the same as what we got. It's orangier red. Let's, let's try. It's a little brighter. Just a little bit of a differentiation. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. That's quite nice. Yeah, sorry, my yeah. face has just gone massive again. No worries. Yeah, you, we get we get the close up experience. It's, I mean, I'm doing this to your character, so I feel like it's fair turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've I realised now I've got an indirect way by zooming in on your character. I get to zoom in on you. Literally, like there's an indirect. Situation. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Um, cool. Uh, okay. So, what about hair and eyes? Like, where do you want to go with that? Uh, I think. What colour are the eyes at the moment? I said it was gold. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I'm like guessing. Uh, they are brown. That is, that is, it gives the color as brown. Brown can, eyes is perfect. Yeah. Um, there are some different ones. I, I, I won't like. If you're happy, I won't like. Yeah, happy <laughs> with brown <laughs> eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, cool. And then the hair. It started out as a what it calls sautéed mushroom brunette. Um, I actually, I actually really like the hair color because it's not too, it's not too dark. It's not like black as night. It's not like yeah, my hair. It's, nice, it's a nice light. It's got, sort of, it's got a slight, like, a, like an undertone to it, which is good. And it fits with the, the skin color nicely. Uh, again, I can I can play with the little levels, but if you're happy, then... I think maybe the only thing that we need to change is the hairband to like a dark yeah. blue. Let's do that right now. So that's oh, Almost like a muted, muted blue. Color. We've got a cool blue. That's navy bougie blue. That's a bit bright. Go dark yeah, it's something a bit yeah, darker. Almost um, muted. Can make that more muted. If, if, that's a, if that's a good base, I can mute the color rather than um, yeah, darken it like that. Let's reduce the saturation a yeah, little bit. There. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so you've got a bit of blue in there, but it's quite quite tight. In. It's not yeah, really it's nice. Um, cool. All right. So now we can look at the, the overall palette for the gear and then start fiddling with things. So well, I'd say, yeah, the, the clothing, the clothing would be a mixture of that blue and and a, like very dark grey, almost black. Let's see if any of these get close, but they might be a bit bright. It's a shadow, shadow scraper. There's no blues in that, but I'm just mousing over some of these you can see. If nothing else, it shows the different um, different sort of textures. Yeah, these are very um, nice though. And Orton's champion. Yeah, so not one with the blue. Should we start with that blue? We can we can kind of build up from there. Yeah. Uh, what blue did I use? I think I still have it on the palette, in fact. So, we, so you think like the color of the armor, or what, what's where are we going? So gonna the clo- So I think I think for the the metal's got to be like almost black because it's made Gosh. out of literal shadow. Yeah, shadow metal. Metal, yeah. And I think yeah, the cloth is the cloth would be a mixture of that blue and and a gray. Okay, so maybe the not... boots, maybe the boots are grey, and the like you've done the trousers and the and the arms are blue. Yeah, let's start with blue. I'll get some, I'll get some grey leather. It's rogue black quill cognac. It sounds like it doesn't sound grey enough. No, so it's more of a. So these are natural leathers. We can just pick a different material rather than this. This is black leather. I can make it a bit brighter so it keeps. I think no. I think that's perfect. Kind of that that darkness to it. 
the soul is the same color, like just what we can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. The soul would all be different colors, uh, same color. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and then the cuffs we can yeah, use. Yeah, whole cuff. Yeah, death mode. Pretty much. Um, and these bits and here, I think style yeah. using metal or leather. But do you think match the boots or match the I match mean, the boots? Yeah. Um, we can come back to the detail on that in a second. And the, but I think the hand wraps are black as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so these actually you can, we can do it two colors if you want, but that's black through. No, I think yeah, yeah. But you know, it'd be um, really cool if we could get the bow wraps blue though. So then that gives a bit more of a yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely can. Nice. Yeah, we go. So that matches the material. And it's, again, it's, you, you, you can almost imagine it being like torn strips of cloth or something like yeah, that. Yeah, literally. That's great. Okay, so what should we pick on now? There may be bits of cloth we've missed, but that should become clearer when we... Oh, in fact, the quiver. That's an, is that going to be boot leather or is this going to be a... You know, a I was thinking actually, so for, for color-wise, to contrast the blue, you'd want to go for like a, a desaturated orange that looks more brown. Uh, Harvest Orange is probably maybe a bright, yeah, it's been bright. So for and then, yeah, just go into it. Leather, or is this a cloth? cloth um... Le leather again, yeah. yeah so I think if you, if you just get a, a good leather color and then we we mess around with the with the saturation again. It's fine, like a good starting point. How's that for a starting point? That's a good starting point, yeah. Do you want it through and through, the whole thing? Well, let's let's just mess around with the this. Can we change the color and saturation a little bit? So uh, I don't know. It'll be called saturation, but we can we can change the things. So, yeah. If you go, I think is there a way to is that is that corner bit really orange? Which bit are you looking at? Just oh, down here. So your your color. Box. Oh, I see. Sorry, of the color square, not of the yeah. quiver. So you mean top right? That's yeah. Is, your, no, that's is that orange? orange? Hold on a second. I've clicked through to the hair, so I'm giving you orange hair. <laughs> that is orange, sort of umbrish. All right. And Do you take... think we could touch that a bit more yellow? So you can see that it kind of, at the bottom, there's a bar that goes from red yeah, to yeah, green yeah. to blue. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's really I'm going to use my mouse clutch, the thing I never <laughs> use. Makes it good. So I can make it teeny. There we go. Yeah, that's the right orange color. Now, if we go down and then to the left a little bit. Down to the left. So just, to, yeah, just like deepen that a little bit. Yeah, and go down a bit more. All right, I think that's a little bit more. And then let's desaturate to the left a little. And a little bit more. Yeah, it's almost dead, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah no, you, get like a, like a, you get like a hint of it. Out. Not bleached out is the wrong word, but washed out, drained. Yeah, worn out. Yeah. Is that the right I think that's, yeah, I think that. I think. I think that's the right color. Let's have a look when it's when okay, it's on I'll a bit more. more. So we can do the detail different if you want. But I, can I think no. I think the accents are all like uh, the same kind of. Nice. And then if yeah. we can do the scabbard almost like it's made out of the same leather. Definitely. We've got the thing with this. We can do that. We can do the wraps. Do you want the wraps to be the same leather, like around here, or do you want, should we pre use? Yeah, I think the wraps are, are all like leather. And then the dagger as well, and the strap across the chest. Yeah, and the like all the buckles are almost leather as well. You know, like we have to like re pull through leather and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it works. Okay, so up here we got one buckle, buckle, uh, buckle. There we go. Buckle, no, there isn't. Uh, any other bits that would be would be the um, maybe the back of the the back of the leg, uh, yeah, knee leg. Yeah, yeah, because that's yeah, that'll be leather rather than metal, won't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's coming together nicely already. Yeah. And then I think all the metals. Metals, this um, dark, dark grey. So I'll yeah. pick the metals option. Nice. We've got some, there's some nice dark blues and blacks here. So yeah, so there's, there's, there's these sort of weird, there's these sort of pearlescent. We can give wherever we pick, we can give it a glow, I believe. So there's like That's cool. punless, what's called punless dark metal, blackened system of a brown, sure. Uh, there is gun metal, which is a 
duller color, I think. Which we start. Do you want it to be really black, and we'll we'll work around Let's that. Let's have a look. Bit. Yeah. Is this one which is sort of slightly shinier, or there's this this sort of a bit duller and more sort of a bit more of a sheen to it? I think. But this is like the darker, light, more light absorbing one. I think. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look at the the pauldrons and the um. Oh yeah. Let's do as well. This. Do you want it around the edges as well? Oh, that's brown. Yeah, like, like it's brown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to brown. Uh, all through and uh, through. We'll do the detailing even up here. Is that metal I as well? Think, I think yeah, that'll uh, be a different color. Yeah, I don't think that's metal. Uh, these bits? Yeah. Some of these bits maybe as well? Uh, yeah, just, why not? Again, we can always fiddle around that. That flows through to the back, I think. Okay, let's leave that as cloth material then. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where it flows to current, through currently. And on the um, bracer. Yeah. Again, I can recolor any of these to be. Uh, I can recolor any of them to be different for detailing. Is this about the right? So let's restart playing. We can play with the. Um, yeah, it's definitely can, getting there, isn't it? Yeah, but do you, want, do you want to take the color in any particular direction? Let's look at some of the advanced. So we can give it a, there is literally a glow option, and that's, that washes it out, but you can give it a little bit of a, that's not quite right. I think it's going to look as like muted as possible in all fairness. The opacity slider will make it less reflective, I think. Yeah. Well, that, that would make sense if it's made out of shadow. Yeah. Like it literally wouldn't reflect it, just absorb. Actually, that's quite. I mean, yeah, it looks like it looks slightly uncanny, which is pretty much what you're going for, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want, it, do you want a little bit of opacity? Do you want it all the way down to zero? Maybe just like a little bit, so you can tell that it's still something. Yeah. It does reflect a little bit there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, fuzz. I don't know will make be impactful here. I don't think it is. No. <clears throat> roughness. Oh yeah, lots of roughness if possible. I think. Roughness. Almost. Sometimes these effects are a little bit. Yeah, so there's a liquidy feel to it there, so let's power take that up to. I think it's going to look like it's bad, yeah. I think maximum roughness. Yeah, it's more the color than the texture, I think. Well, it is yeah. it's bad, but it's. Uh, I mean, All right, it just, that takes out some of the sheen, so I think I'll leave that where it was, maybe. Okay, no worries. Do you want, you, we can play with. We can take it. We can take it to a deeper black if you want. No, I think that's quite a nice. A nice color. Maybe if we can do these side bits on her legs and her knee pads as well. These bits here, yeah. Yeah. And, and the ones bits. just, yeah, perfect. And what about, is this, do you reckon this bit is as well, this metal? Yeah, bit? I don't know definitely. What made of. And there's another leather strap across the body there that I can color like perfect. that. And then I think the, the rest of the white should be probably like a like a lighter like a lighter dark color, so just like a shade lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you mean it's sort of still taking black as a base and then um, lightening it a bit. That's yeah. Really so and again, more is this, do you think this is a cloth material? Or yeah, this is definitely a cloth material. Let's find a darker color. That's with darks. Millionaire mink. It's quite. It's a lighter gray. But we can darken that, can't we? Black snack, black slug. Yeah, that looks quite. That's that's yeah, like. It. Yeah. There's that and there's charcoal cashmere, which is yeah, no, not quite right. I can change the balance on that again if you want. If you want it a bit darker or lighter. I actually quite like the charcoal cashmere. <laughs> charcoal cashmere. Yeah, actually, the roughness fits, and it actually fits quite nicely. Yeah. With the texture there. Let's so see if we can do that. And that's collar bit as well. Oh, yeah. collar, yeah. Which gives us a, the sides paneling here. And the back as well, I think. Back, yeah. That, and then is this bit metal? Do you think with metal mid roof, or is this just part of the same? No, I think that's part of the same materials yeah. here. Making sure, taking taking stock of what we haven't got. That. That's really, I think that's really nice. Looking solid. It's a really nice mixture of like close but different colours that, that complement each other nicely. Some main things we haven't got. We haven't got the weapons. We haven't got some of the armor detailing, like these the studs on the bracer, yeah. on the pauldrons, and on the sort of kilts, whatever that. The skirting. Um, I think the studs then, are black as well. Like, cause if that's metal, that'll be yeah. the shadow. It's, it's, it's the exact same metal as the uh, yeah. base armor. I think so. Yeah. Do that one. Do that one. So uh, just disappears, which is quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. I think. I think the the quiver the quiver heads would be that same blue that's wrapped around the um, the bow. Yeah, 
the fletching or the actual heads of the shaft? The, the fletching. fletching, yeah. And I think the wood of the the wood of the bow, uh, the arrows would be the same wood of the all right of, as the bow. Let's have a look at that then, shall we? Uh, let's pan down here. Let's find a good wood paint. Uh, where are we? Where's wood? There we go. Wood. Natural and polished woods, ranging from mahogany to pit pin plank. I don't know what it is. Storied wood. Mahogany. What sort of? What kind of? What kind of starting point are you thinking? It's dark again. Like so this is. A, I didn't even look that dark. It's not as dark as I remember. That's quite a dark wood with sort of sort of burnished patterns on it. Can we? Uh, add we can take it dark. Whatever we pick, we can take dark. Sorry, mom. Th- yeah, if we can take that, if we can edit the color a bit dark. Right? That. Let's go to this one, and this is grab the correct color. Rotting harbor. Ooh, nice. We can take it darker. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. And that keeps some of the nice sort of burnishing marks on the edge. Yeah, I think the arrows would be a similar color. Possibly a bit lighter, do you think, or not? Because it looks a bit different when it's on just just the polished position. Yeah, maybe maybe a touch lighter, yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. Copy this so we have a different one, so I can change the settings individually. Take it up a little bit, maybe. So coming through, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's a little bit it's different. Like some, some different part, make it look different, and the same with the yeah. heads up here, perhaps. And then I can take that fletching color, well, I take the wrap color here, and put it on this arrow too. Nice. We need to do this too. This is so much easier than painting. Uh, I, do, I do enjoy painting physical minis, but also like they feel like I can just like I can just do all this, this fine detail really quickly with a click of a click of yeah. Oh, cool, yes, the, it's the difference between traditional art and, and digital yeah, well, art. I can just like clicking yeah. and dropping. Yeah. As, as someone who's who's not very good at visual art and is very prone to making mistakes and make me give up, the ability to like a undo things and b like take a thing that I've done and make more of them rather than having to do like fifty perfect trees in a in a uh, metal. It's come. It's come in handy, just um, just whenever you're working, pressing undo and duplicate. It's just like, oh, gracias, yeah, muchas gracias, señor. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you for this. It's, it's very good. Um, is, are the is the, the arrowhead the same metal as the pommel, or is this a different kind of metal? Yeah, I think the pommels and the arrowheads would be like again, like black. Okay. But the um, the wrap again would be that blue color. Uh, that, yeah, the, the 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 hand card, not the hand card, yeah. the weapon. The, yeah, but this, this well, is yeah, we'll have to delve into the weapons and how she got them more in in the in the story. Absolutely, will I feel that's that's gonna be very appropriate. Uh, so do you mean the the the, the hand like this, the wrap wrap? Yeah. The no. So the only thing I have again on the dagger. Is that the metal? I think the crossbar would be the same metal, and then yeah. the handle of the other dagger would be. The blue yeah. as well. And the detailing on that will make the same leather. Look at that, we smashed that. It's amazing. Again, I, go, I sort of switch modes from focusing on very fine details to zooming back out and going, oh yes, there it is, it looks great. Oh, it's, it's the wonderful part, is getting to like, zooming in and working so hard on the little thing, and then you zoom out and you go, oh, this looks good. <laughs> 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 it's good to do all the hard work straight up. Making sure we haven't missed anything, but I think we got it. I think we got yeah, it. Yeah, I think it looks super cool. It's so it's so cool every time you get to see them like come to life. Yeah, it's really good for anchoring the imagination on the character, the way the, the way you envision them and picking out those details and making some choices between things and kind of getting into their head a little bit. Cool. Yeah. I'll just pan around once more. But if you're happy, I think we are about done. I uh, yeah, I'm super happy with that. I think it's super cool, man. Cool. Well, uh, we will be streaming buried in January through February in our Monday slot, which is 6 to 9 p.m. UK time on twitch.tv slash dnd and twitch.tv slash roll together. You can see Nile, you can see Barda in all her glory with all of her weapons. And I'm really, really excited to see how that turns out. So we hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nile. Thank you.